Hello and welcome to another edition of Coffee Talk with immigration attorney Brian D. Lerner. Okay, so in today's day and age with bad news coming every day from the White House in regards to trying to stop uh, every form of immigration possible, um, we have a victory. So let me just describe first uh, what it is involving and then what has occurred. So a lot of times uh, in the past, uh, people will either get deportation orders or uh, they will be in the process of getting a deportation order. And for various reasons, uh, you know, when an application is made called deferred adjudication, uh, the uh, deportation process will stop there'll basically be a stay on it and then it'll you know they'll they'll basically say that the uh, applicant needs to either visit immigration you know once every six months or once every year and essentially everything's put on hold if there's already a deportation order um, then it won't be executed and the person won't be deported and again there's various reasons for this uh, you know some reasons uh, will include that there's a very sick family member that needs to be taken care of and that family member is a lawful permanent resident or U.S. citizen. Sometimes it'll be that the person may qualify for relief in two or three years when either visa numbers become current or perhaps a U.S. citizen child turns 21 or perhaps a PERM and I-140 petition will become current, uh, whatever it is, um, you know, that may uh, occur. And sometimes there's not enough for example, facts or uh, legal briefs and so forth to win on an asylum uh, matter, but there's sufficient facts for the judge to hold the case uh, over and just put it in administrative processing. So, you know, there's I, I just listed a few, but there's a wide plethora of reasons why a deferred uh, adjudication, deferred action um, will... Uh, be executed and given to a particular person. Well, um, in Trump's effort to stop everything, uh, he essentially ordered that all deferred adjudications, deferred actions uh, be stopped, that uh, they should not and won't be granted anymore except in the event uh, that one of the people involved is in the military. And so, of course, there was a public outcry of this. Uh, there was all kinds of groups and organizations uh, that essentially got together and wrote a joint letter to USCIS, uh, essentially stating um, of the unfairness of just stopping uh, deferred action and then there were certain groups that brought the lawsuits. One was uh, an Irish group. Uh, and then, of course, there was the threat of just violating uh, the law by not allowing the applications to even go forward. I mean, think about it. it the uh, deferred action uh, regulations, their regulations and their statutes. It tells what uh, the procedures are in order to go forward. It tells what the burden of proof is and so forth. And it doesn't mean that they all have to be approved, which obviously that's not the case. But then again, you can't just uh, snap your fingers and say no more deferred uh, action applications just because you don't want uh, them to proceed forward. Well, in light of the multiple uh, letters and the uh, requests to continue the deferred action and in light of lawsuit already filed and the pending lawsuits which would have been filed, uh, USCIS reluctantly agreed to continue and start again uh, deferred action uh, uh, applications so that people can go forward and apply for it. Now, again, it doesn't mean that they're going to be approved, but it's a whole lot better than just closing the door uh, essentially illegally in the first place. So it's a significant 
step in the right direction. Uh, of course, we all know that the due process uh, of immigrants and people coming in is on attack, uh, and we have to keep fighting. We have to keep uh, bringing the lawsuits, and we ha have to not stop because the attack on the due process and the democracy uh, doesn't stop. And if we, the immigration lawyers and all of the advocates, do not continually uh, fight for the rights of those less fortunate, then what's going to happen is the administration will win, democracy will be swept under the carpet, and people will be turned away uh, for reasons other than legal adjudication of their applications. Okay, so if you like the video, click like, subscribe, and more on the coming weeks. Thank you.